uh, lettering, the Gilmore Lion logo, and um, Roscoe Turner was character. He he kept a uh, lion cub, uh, and eventually I think they went through ten or twelve of them. Lions have they become full grown, and there's pictures of him with the with the uh, one of the lions uh, at full size. Let's see if we can find that. Yeah, here it is. So there's Roscoe Turner, and that's the Gilmore Lion, one of them, at uh, its full growth. So Roscoe was a character in the mid '30s. Uh, he entered a few air races. He's uh, one of those cocky uh, flamboyant types he, he wore these military uniforms even though he held no rank and never served um, he just thought that aviators sh should wear uniforms um, the guy uh, was so deaf that he couldn't speak without shouting uh, so apparently at dinner parties he'd get into these you know uh, dinner dinner clubs and and dinner parties with uh, the oi polloi and he'd start uh, bellowing these body jokes. He's, uh, he'd be telling dirty jokes at, at full volume in the middle of a, a restaurant or dinner party. But that was Roscoe Turner. That, uh, that's this guy right here. Um, Lockheed Air Express, when they came out of this airplane, it, they wanted a cabin a monoplane um, that could carry up to four or five passengers. The pilot would sit uh, back here for the Air Express passengers in the uh, cabin here and uh, they could carry them at for that period of time as one of the fastest airplanes uh, of any type uh, they entered these things in races and won them um, both cross-country and uh, and circuit air races they uh, the airplane was fast uh, for its time so um, I think Jack Northrup at the time was working for Lockheed and uh, anyway, uh, this is the airplane we're going after. I've got Cali Graphics uh, working up the, the markings for me. I'll be painting the tail red. Uh, the wing is bordered in red. Uh, the wheel uh, spats are, are uh, bordered in red. That'll be done with paint. Um, the logos will be decal. The lettering will be decal. Um, I'll probably use Cali's decal here. There's one with the kit, uh, the Lockheed uh, Star. Uh, logo uh, I have in the box there as part of that of the kit markings but I don't think I'll use it we'll see we'll see which which I what I do I like to use as much of the kit components as I can uh, that's it just to sh just to show some respect for uh, the kit developer the manufacturer uh, the engineer who designed the kit and so on so I, tr I try to use as much as I can just just for that reason um, and then the embellishments that I do uh, make are aside from that. Let's see. Oh, there's the Lockheed the logos that, that uh, come with the kit. So you can see it's an arrow facing forward, the star, uh, kind of a sweep after the star, and uh, the Lockheed uh, name right above that. Uh, this was the first aircraft after the Air Express. It was, they called it the Vega. First, well, Lockheed Vega Air Express. It was the first uh, Lockheed aircraft uh, given a star, uh, name of a star uh, moniker. After that, Sirius and you know Orion and so on. They they named their air, all the aircraft after uh, stars or constellations. That was the idea, and it was born with this airplane. This was the first uh, for Lockheed. Anyway. Um, we're going to get back to building. Uh, be setting it up with the uh, bulkheads. This number eight. <laughs> uh, we'll get all the bulkheads in, start stringing it, um, and then probably I'll come back when I'm uh, attaching the opposite side uh, bulkheads after we unpin. And we'll throw on the opposite side bulkheads and then we'll start stringing it up and we'll cover it from there. There.